Hey everybody, this is Eric with Premier Pack. I want to talk to you today about your dog marking in the house. What a pain, right? Now, as any of you know who has an intact male dog, marking is not about having to relieve themselves. It's not going to be fixed by a potty training routine or exercise because that's not what it is. A dog will try to mark something with nothing in his bladder. It'll try to squeeze out a couple drops. So it's not about having to relieve themselves. It is a behavior that needs to be addressed and corrected, okay? Now this was brought up from a friend who is having trouble with her dog marking the house when her daughter's female dogs come to visit, okay? So now that she has this information, she knows when it happens. So what do you do? You have to keep an eye on the dog during this time. Closely manage it, whether that means putting a leash on in the house or if that means blocking off other uh, rooms, whatever. You have to watch the dog because it'll sneak away and it'll start and it'll mark somewhere else and you'll miss it. Opportunity lost. Okay, so this is a behavior that needs to be corrected. You want to catch him as he's just raising his leg and apply a punisher. No, then punisher. Evie, hush. So how do you do that? I prefer using a knee collar, a remote collar. It's safe. You can adjust the level to be significant to your dog, and you can apply the punishment from across the room with really good timing. Okay? So, keep a close eye on the dog, watch him for, for him to lift his leg, apply a significant, well-timed punisher, okay? Now, you want to be consistent. Don't think it's done. He may try it again, and you have to be on the ball to catch him again to make the, sure that he understands this is exactly what you did to cause this punishment, okay? And... Keep an eye on it. It's long, as uh, you develop more trust in your dog, you can give him more freedom. So hopefully that helps. Eric with Premier Pack. I'll talk to you later.